Hai. <coughs> Nih. So, okay. Ini kata, okay. Mind you, my voice is like disgusting. Disgusting. So, um, today, gue mau, it's gonna be a little bit of like Indonesian and um, English because I don't know if I'm gonna speak Indo or not later, but just in case, you know, I'm just wanting you this instant. By the way, my name is Jethro Arman, and you are going to be witnessing and wa- witnessing. And I will be telling you guys my experience watching um, the goddess, the queen, everything, uh, which is Beyonce. Thank you. Also, this like setup is, it's not like, I, I can't do it. It's not cute, but you know what? Just like deal with it, I feel. Also, this is not sponsored. I got, just in case you're wondering, which you probably aren't. This is human fuel, um, a, a vegan protein shake. I myself would say I'm kind of a vegan. Well, not really because I wear fur and leather. We're not even gonna go there. Anyway, so. I can never scream that high. I'm really happy because like I lost my voice and I can't believe I can I can like scream that high. Anyway, so I myself can clarify, verify, and tell you that I am one of the biggest beehives in the planet. I stand, I stand. Or, let me just use my hat, you know, because me. So I, for the longest time, always wanted to watch Beyonce live, which I did in twenty in two thousand seven. And that was my first concert ever, period. And then, um, it, it's so bad to talk. And then she came, um, dropped Lemonade out of freaking nowhere, and then she decided to go on tour, which is the Formation Tour. Till this day, we still do not have the DVD. I'm, I'm kind of confused myself. Um, I was like, mm, <laughs> like that. Uh, but, you know, I can't do anything about it. I, as much as I wanted to watch, I end up did not I don't really speak English. I do. But long story short, I did not watch Formation Tour, okay? So I was like, okay, and then what? What am I gonna do now? I have to watch her again because it's been like years. And then bitch decided to drop a freaking, uh, no, I forgot what, but I think it was on the run. She just promoted it. <clears throat> At first I was like, okay, you, why are you like promoting on the run tour two, on the run two, when you don't even have an album yet? I was like, and then what? And then long story short, on the run started, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get my tickets. I'm gonna go ham. You know, even though it's not even, they don't even have an album, I will just go just to see her. And then Beyonce, being her petty self, decided to drop an album and dropped it on tour. It hurts so bad to talk. And then Everything Is Love came out. I was like. And then I died. But anyway. I am not even like in the story yet because like I'm confused. I, I watched Beyonce in Club Carter and when I want to watch any artist, I'm like, all right, whatever. But Beyonce for me is like, I would invest and spend a shit ton of money in it because it's Beyonce. She doesn't go on tour every year. She doesn't release a studio album every year. It's, she just doesn't do that because she's Beyonce, obviously, you know what I mean? And I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe I have to wait, blah, 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 blah. And then, Bitch decided to come to Los Angeles and then Club Cotta was sold out. I was like, you know what? I don't mind paying some hundred dollars or a thousand for a ticket this one time. And then Club Cotta is not even there. Like they don't sell it anymore. I think it's sold out and Ticketmaster, both shows, because she went twice in LA and then she went to San Diego. And a few days before, I checked Ticketmaster. They sold Club Cotta for $300, $300. I was like, are you like scamming? Because we don't stand a scammer. Finally, it's from Ticketmaster, so I know it's like legit. Obviously, like I bought it and then, yeah, I bought it. Because the second I heard it's $300, I'm like, sold. And I was like, okay, and then what? So I died and cried to pieces when I finally got the tickets and it was like legit. I asked two of my best friends to like, hey, like, can we like watch? Cause I'm like, yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's like watch. And I'm like, okay, good, I would hope. And then thank God for Hannah's generosity and humbleness. She decided to drive to San Diego. And I'm like, yeah, cause we were about to take the train and like go for six hours. I would go for six hours cause I'm in Santa Barbara. Then, um, yeah. So we got there and 
Mind you, it was so hot. We don't even want to talk about it. But we got there and then I, the three of us went to the stadium and it was hella, hella weird. How like, it's so unorganized. Well, the event was beautiful, but I'm just saying like, finding the ticket box and everything was just, excuse me, so horrid. And then finally, thank God. Okay, no, this is what I was confused about, okay? So at least in San Diego, the one that I watched, the VIP line, because Club Carter technically is VIP, the VIP line is longer than any queue. Any queue, any section, the VIP is longer. I don't know what the hell it is. Is it, it is, but like it's so long. And I'm like, <laughs> anyway, and then, so we queued at the freaking VIP and it was technically not that long, but still, you know, the line was really like, packed. So we were like confused. After that, we got in, right? Mind you that Club Carter was really like big well, that was so dumb, but Club Card is pretty, we're not even, okay, so this is the stage and we're not even here, but it's still close to the runway stage. We're close, we had a good view. Like, we were so thankful, I was so happy. And then something magical happened. I was like, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. The security, for some reason, took off that little, you know that like bar? Like not bar, but like the little like rope like for you to like cannot cross. I don't know what to say in English. Okay, so the security was like, okay, I'm gonna take this off and you guys can go in front of the VIP section. I was like, <laughs> we, why, why is it like this? Why is the angle like this? And then we sprinted, we went dash Incredibles up in this. We ran, I, I didn't care. The, the security was like, don't run, don't. I was like, <laughs> you work here? Like, no, 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 we, our beehives, so, sh and then we sprinted to stage. Everyone was relaxed. I was so confused. Not so short, we got in front, like, in front, like, whew. so this is the stage, this is us, like, that close. Honestly, that's it. It was just a good story how, like, my experience was, like, beyond phenomenal. Thank you, Beyonce, obviously. I was so close, so close, like, to the point where I, oh, bruh. Actually, that's a lie. The story, we saw a little bit more. Mind you, Beyonce came so late, which is not a problem. She can come anytime she wants. But it was Chloe and Helly. I hope I, I said the name right. And then DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled took the longest time. And then after that, it was, we were waiting for like B to come out or like the interlude or the video or the visuals or whatever. And it didn't come up for the longest time. We waited, we were in the stadium at like probably six o'clock. From six o'clock standing until 9.30, the show had not started. And then I was like, <laughs> I was like, uh, not today, sweetie, but I'm still gonna be there. I'm still gonna stand tall, strong. I will stand strong for B because, and then what? And then I did, and finally Beyonce came out and just, you know, I cried. I didn't even cry, like pretty cry. I sobbed, I didn't end up recording like half the show because like, I was like, this and I like crazy. So that was like iconic. Beyonce is iconic, not me. I am not iconic. Um, so that's it. And then, I kid you not, these two girls. These, okay. So regardless, you're gonna buy VIP or Club Carter, like both, you, you, regardless, you're gonna stand. You're gonna stand, you're not gonna sit, you're, gonna get, you're not gonna get any chairs. So you're gonna stand and you have to, you know, if you're a beehive, you gotta like stand in your position and not let anyone, not let anyone take your spot, period. So these, these two gal pals in front of us, in front of me technically in Casey, cause Hannah was like there. And obviously when you're in a concert, you know, you know, when you are in front by the bar, by that gate, just by that stage, when you stand there, you, you signed up for it. You signed up to be crushed, jammed, and just being punched with everyone because everyone's gonna go in front and yell and wanna take your spot. And that was me. I was trying to like break these two girls apart. I was like, oh, oh, move. That's a lie. I didn't try to break them up. I just, every time Beyonce blinked, I like scream. Every time she breathes, I'm like, oh, you, you better breathe, you better breathe. You no, know, because it's Beyonce. Like, what are you talking about? The fact that I'm breathing the same air as her in front of me is already like mind blowing. So after that, every time she does something, every time she dances, every time she sings, 
Like, I would always, like, scream and just say things like, you better fuck this up, bitch. Like, it was pretty explicit. Sorry, by the way. But I would, like, go ham. And every time, every, every time I scream, this girl would just look at me. Like, in a really ugh, way. Like, imagine, imagine, imagine. You're me, and I'm the girl, okay? You screaming, and then I go like this. Like that, like I would just give like an attitude all the time. And I'm like, okay, and then what? Me being the petty self, I would scream louder because you, you know, you tried me. Don't try me, don't come to me, don't test me because you don't come from me. And after that, I was like, okay, um, yeah. Mind you, Club Carter and like the VIP and the back, it's probably at least, <coughs> I don't know how many people, but a lot of people, like, we're talking about a concert here, so probably maybe a thousand or hundreds. I really don't know. But you know, you, if you are gonna stand in GA, general admissions or festival, how could you like wear sandals? How are you gonna wear like sandals and just like, are you dumb? So and then Casey, my good friend, accidentally stepped on her foot. And this, th she gave the biggest attitude. That girl gave the biggest attitude to Casey. She's like, I was like, don't come for her, like move. Are you like, why are you wearing sandals in the first place? Are you dumb? But other than that, that's it. It was like, like it was one, obviously I'm watching her again in Seattle because like it's her last show and I'm you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch her. This is the last one for this tour. That is it for my rant and story time of how beautiful Club Cotta was and the tour in general. So, thanks for watching if you made it this, like, long. Okay, bye. Thanks.